think so, but I do now, funnily enough. Yeah, how do you know, how do you know he's threatened? I mean... I don't think he, he actually is in fact threatened, but it's probably crossing his mind. Yeah. I don't know, I don't, I don't want to be a threat to anybody, because I think it's like saying um, Diana Ross and Aretha Franklin are competing against each other, which is absolute rubbish just because they're both black. But the rest of the world know, so. must think it's riveting that two men who dress like this in such a short time have dominated the charts. Can you see this happening in America? I, I know you've got your jeans on, dear. You can sit down. <laughs> but can you imagine an American doing what you've done? I can't imagine anybody doing what I've done. <laughs> and what about George, though? The two of you to have come along in such a short time. Um, well, I mean, what is it you're is, both offering? I mean, forget about the rivalry and everything else, but what do you think the well, kids... Well, Janet, the thing is, Boy George is very, very talented, and I, for one, buy all his records. I'm a yeah. fan of his, I think he's great. Do you think but you're talented? I don't know, I don't think... Uh, that's not for me to decide, yeah. really. But the record company obviously think you've got something. I mean, you didn't... When people say, oh, just a record company pawn, because when they can you, market you and you vlog you like Russia. in the record Russia. business, you have to have good songs. It doesn't matter what you look like. They can, you can create an image for somebody mm. quite easily. The thing you have to have is good demo tapes, and I think I had good, but well, exceptionally you good think demo you've got tapes. A good voice. I don't know about that either. I can't um, judge myself in that context. But the, the funny thing to me is that the rock business now, rock music, is very catchy and commercial, and all the politics have gone out of it, and it seems very wholesome. To me, it should and be yet fun. It, it should be complete fun. I don't, all this heavy rubbish about being a drag queen, and you know, I think if you, if you make people laugh, cry, you know, just as long as you entertain people, I think it's good. Right now, boy, boy George famous remark was about preferring a cup of tea to sex. I would mean, you? Well, what would you do? Well, I was if I came at you with a tea bag, <laughs> how would you respond? Or, or what else would you come at me with? Um, um, would you grab the tea bag or prefer something case, else? In your case, I think I'd have the tea bag. <laughs> Girls like men dressed up as women. Well, I'm not dressed up as a woman. No, but I put very make, feminine I put make, appearance. I put makeup on to put. To yes, but Marilyn, you used my to defects, wear. Yeah, you used to wear frocks. You used to wear frocks in your a couple of years ago. To me, if you get a piece of material and cut it out into a shape, it's that material suddenly um, becomes a sex. If you cut it into a certain shape, it becomes a male, a masculine. If you cut it in a different shape, it's like feminine, but it's the same piece of material. And I don't think that that's right. I think you should be able to wear what you want when you want. Hunter. Or Madeline. Is that a male name or a female name? I don't know. Can you put um, sexes on names? You chose it, though, didn't you? Out of the random. Hunter, what kind of name is that? That's very, uh, <laughs> very, very, feminine. very feminine name, yes. Is it? Well, you've been on the show ten minutes, and you're probably out of fashion already. What do you think... This is a serious question. <laughs> about fashion. I am, yes, I'm... Oh, I see. What do you think the next thing is? I mean, it's so... You, when you look back, I think everything's you. changed. I think you've got star quality. Now, I've been fashionable. <laughs> He's got more makeup on than I have. <laughs> <laughs> Listening to the, the interview, you've got to have a, a slightly unusual presentation. That helps, because that's fun. I agree with you, it should be fun. Secondly, you've got to have an unusual voice. Yes? To be slightly offbeat and different. I don't know. Don't answer that, because I'm about to say, okay. why isn't Janet a pop star? Oh, well. <laughs> she's got both. <laughs> she's got both. I don't know she's the one, no. but she doesn't want to sing. Marion, tell me something. Uh, in the People, uh, there was a rather bitchy thing about you on top of the pops, mm. and they said you were a kind of mucky person, and that you miming to a record was in some way reminiscent of a transvestite in a club, in a now, gay club. Now, how would they know what goes on in a gay club? Yeah. <laughs> well, I've got to turn to Bron here and ask Bron's you if this is the kind of thing that goes on in the West Country. <laughs> Some of full of gay clubs. I, no, I'm very glad you come, you come to me on this one. I haven't found any gay clubs in some cities. So, well, what I liked about, about the clip we saw was, was the pair of legs, and it turns out they weren't yours at the beginning. In the, at the very beginning of the clip, there's a lovely pair of legs walking towards it. Who was there? That was the um, director's idea to make people think that that was me, so they'd all go, oh, yeah. he's going to be in drag, and then it like cuts and I haven't got any makeup on. So. Yeah. And you, you say the purpose is to entertain, isn't it also and to, to amuse? Uh, Anything, isn't it, all, isn't isn't it also to titillate a bit and, and, and say they think, you know, uh, who, who is this uh, person? Uh, and, and, you know, there's, there's a bit of sexual titillation in it of one sort or another. Mm, kind of. Tiny bit. Any, 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 any sort of projection involves a bit of that. Yeah, well, if you. 
I don't know, just anything. If you get some emotion out of people watching a video, yeah. it should be entertaining, it should be riveted to the screen till the yeah. end of the video. If you, like, switch off halfway, there's obviously nothing worth... Yeah, but you never hope to be taken for a woman, that isn't part of it all. No, I've never pretended to be a woman. And it's never happened. You've no. never had somebody come up to and say... Oh, yeah, lots of times, but I, I always yeah. say, you know, excuse me, mate, I'm a guy. Well, <laughs> darling, thank you very much. I never thank thought you. you were anything else. Oh. Thank you. seems a blatant U-turn on the part of Maggie's team.